All kinds of different factors to actually where they are in their perfs. Did the perfs actually cut through the casing and are they connecting to reservoir or is it coming from other zones up the pipe? It's, there's, there's all kinds of problems that can happen with by basing your results of how you understand your reservoir off of production. That's my point, I guess. It's kind of weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> is that just uh, me? I mean, it's... it's it doesn't. If you worked development in the Permian Basin, yeah, you know how crazy it is. I mean, uh, you can be drilling wells, and Adam could back me up on this. It doesn't really matter which field. Uh, you see it a lot in the Wolfberry, but if you're drilling straight development, just straight eighty acres, yeah, for the next thirty years, right? In that, you can have wells that'll cum one hundred fifty thousand barrels, and then you'll have four that will cum three hundred fifty thousand barrels. Yeah, and it's these tiny conventional. Yeah turbidic zones coming after these debris flows that are bringing in this crazy porosity but as of now they're ridiculously impossible to predict i mean these are what i agree max five foot yeah thick yeah. intervals yeah. five foot thick intervals and they're not gonna you're not gonna see them a well log that's a quarter mile away because yeah. they're gone and you're not gonna see yeah. them shooting the same quarter of a mile you, you basically you basically yeah. have to you know you hit to the hit bullseye yeah. Yeah. with well, the, that well and if not it's you know you could you, you could theoretically miss that zone right. in yeah. 88 doing 80 acre spacing oh, yeah. 